What is going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. So for the past couple days, I have been waiting on the title for the Toyota Soar to show up at my house and it actually showed up today. I went to work, so I was gone for most of the day, but it showed up today and I've been waiting to get this thing like registered and insured uh, in mass. And unfortunately, since I was working all day, it's too late to go now. So I'll probably go tomorrow or the next day. So in the meantime, I figured why not make this little video? So a couple days ago on my Instagram story, I posted a poll, which if you guys aren't already following my Instagram, I'll leave it right here. I posted a poll saying that since, because I, I listen to kind of sad music all the time, 24 seven, and that's really all the type of music that I listen to, um, how would you guys feel about a sad boy merch line? and everyone was super positive about it. It was like 95% yes on the poll, which was sick. So I do have Sad Boy merch in the works and uh, all I can say is the shirts, hoodies, and long sleeves, which all of them will come in, uh, they are fire and uh, I'm, I'm definitely stoked to release them. I just finished the shirt designs yesterday and I need to work on the stickers next, but it will be really cool. I don't have any info on the release date or anything yet, but it's it's gonna be really cool and uh, I hope you guys are, are stoked with the way it turned out. So, with that being said, since I'm waiting for tomorrow or the next day to come up so that I can take this thing and get it registered and insured because now I have the title, I figured while I wait, why not clean the engine bay? Because it's disgusting and as you guys know, I cleaned the engine bay in the coupe a while ago. That video got an awesome response. So I'm curious to see how this car will do. It's four years older than the coupe. So it's 27 years old and uh, it's pretty dirty. So let's pop the hood and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, dirty, 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 dirty. Can you guys just, oh my God, I love how long this car is. So I've noticed this in almost every single import that I've seen because I've seen quite a few now come, you know, fresh off the boat and they all have the same kind of dirt and it's not any dirt that we're used to here in the US. It's very different. It's very caked on, it's very hard and it's not easy to get off. If I rub hard enough with my finger, you know, you can start to see some discoloration and it'll go away but it's a lot harder to take off than American dirt, or this car's Japanese, but it was made in America. So I'm not entirely sure how to attack this. I've got a couple things here. I used this in the last video, and this will just be to like polish up plastics and stuff, but a couple bristle brushes and all that stuff, but I don't really know exactly how I want to go at this first. I know that I need to cover up a bunch of stuff because I just uh, am not too familiar with these yet and I don't want to short anything out so everything's going to get covered besides and the engine is pretty damn clean already so I probably won't touch it very much. You can see the heat shield for the turbos is like spotless but uh, yeah it's dirty enough to want to clean it and uh, I've been wanting to ever since I got it so let's do it. Okay, so we've got a bag on the battery terminals. We've got a bag on a bunch of electronics that are up there. We've got a bag over the HKS and we've got a bag on the alternator, which takes care of a lot of the electricals and the things that are or should not get water in them ever. Um, so that'll work. We've got a hot boy over there, but that should work fine. So now I guess I'm gonna drag the hose out and uh, get this engine bay a little wet. But yeah, I'm not a professional at this whatsoever, so I just use a very soft setting on the nozzle and I don't even squeeze it all the way. I just wanna kind of dress the engine with a little bit of water to uh, start things off. Taking it very, very easy with the water just because I'm new to this car and I don't want to mess anything up, but I did get the 
sides of the engine bay all wet, the strut towers are wet, and uh, from there on I guess we are going to dive into the engine degreaser and uh, start scrubbing and we'll see uh, how good these brushes do with taking this gunk off because it's gross. Well I got myself a wet cloth here, I'm just going to agitate this and see what happens. All right, I mean, it's getting it off, but it's not doing a good enough job, which I think is the cloth's fault. It's not too strong, so let's move on to this guy. Oh yeah. Look at that, holy crap. That is quite the difference. That's pretty crazy. That looks a thousand times better than this. I'm impressed. So now that I know that it looks like that, it makes me want to get it as clean as physically possible. So that means going in here, the strut tower, same thing on the other side, making sure it's all looking good and go from there because this thing is coming along. All right guys, I am very impressed with how this is cleaning up. The, the dirt actually did a good job of protecting what was under it, which is good. But I mean, these before were just absolutely destroyed and uh, now they're looking awesome. So next is obviously this area, the strut tower and under the HKS intake and uh, or HKS pod filter, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this strut tower is going to be a little bit more difficult, but I can do it. It's just got a lot more stuff around it than this one does. So I'm going to start with this one and get under the intake and all that stuff, move on to this one. And then we can start to dress up the plastics and stuff with the armor all, and then it'll make it all look shiny and good. So let's do it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sick. What I thought was dirt is actually paint. And whoever owned this before me, either that's undercoat or it's just black paint to try and hide something. Not entirely sure. But that's kind of a bummer because it's like kind of out in the open and you're just going to see it and it's just going to look kind of gross. But the rest of the car is coming out awesome. So I did the driver's side strut tower. Now I'm gonna do the passenger side strut tower, which will probably take me a little bit longer just because it's got so much stuff attached to it. But regardless, we're gonna get it done. I am very sweaty. For those that don't know, I get sweaty just by doing the smallest of jobs. It's crazy, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get it done. you guys I think that that is going to be as good as I can get the actual like visible parts of the engine bay these you know fenders and strut towers and everything they look phenomenal 
but uh, stuff like in the firewall is gonna be a little hard to get. It looks a thousand times better than it did before, so. Now I'm going to dry everything off and uh, break out the armor roll and just make all the plastics look shiny and stuff just because that's kind of like the, the end thing to a very quick detail. Like I said, I'm not a professional at all whatsoever. It's just wanting to make this thing look nicer than it already did, so let's do it. All right guys, so the engine bay is all dry and it looks phenomenal. There's not every spot that I could get to because my brushes were kind of big and I couldn't get them in there, but it's still okay. It looks awesome. The sides look beautiful, both sides. The engine was already spotless. Like I can get down here and show you the alternator. I'll pull the bag off. Like the engine is absolutely spotless. Everything is still in such amazing condition. So I didn't really have to touch much on the engine at all, but uh, in terms of everything else, it did have that layer of schmeg and smog on it. So now we are going to take the armor all. And like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't know if armor all is the best thing to use for this, but people use it to clean the inside plastics and vinyl and leather and stuff of their cars. So I don't see why using it on plastics and rubbers and stuff like that under the engine bay is uh is going to be a big issue quote me if i'm wrong leave down in the comments if there's something better to use i know they make engine dress up but i don't have any so i'm just going to use armor all so let's hit everything that we can and uh make this thing really nice All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Like I said, it was just a video that I felt like doing just because I always like to clean, whether it's the engine bay, the interior, the exterior of the car, it's just like a good thing of mine that I love to do. Next up I would say is definitely the headlights because they are completely faded and they look like dookie. But I just wanna make this video while I wait to make other videos because I can't drive this car a lot right now because it doesn't have insurance on it, which is bad. So you don't wanna drive it very much. So that is it. Engine Bay looks awesome. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Got some cool stuff for this car. So stay tuned.